Okay, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Ready for a new class? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Excellent, teacher. Yeah. Okay, it is time to start. It's eight o'clock. So I'm going to start with the attendance. Okay. Please turn on your cameras and respond present. Okay, Alejandra, Vanessa, Mora. Present teacher. Good evening, Alejandra, welcome. Ana Delmi Herrera. Najet. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay. Uh, Angel Alexander Guardado. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Claudia Yvette Samayoa. Present teacher. Good evening. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Okay. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, Joana. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one session is with you tonight, okay? Okay, teacher. Karina Melissa Estrada. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, welcome. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Olga Marleni Gómez. Zenaida América Domínguez. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Present. Okay, Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Good. And Carla Verónica Suria. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Xiomara Soriano. Good evening. Okay. As usual, I... Okay. As usual, I need to remind you that INSA4 requires to have your camera on during the whole, the complete class. Okay. Okay. 
Ave María, Madre. Okay. Well, last night uh, we were working on um, an exercise about directions, okay? Giving directions into a plant or a factory or an office or a building, okay? So let me share the screen to continue with that activity. Uh, where is it? This one. Right. This a little bit. So the first one we did it last night. We said walk. And let me use capital letters just to highlight it to the end or the bottom. He must and turn right. <coughs> it is in front of women's restroom. Okay, that was number one. What about number two? Let me go. Now I don't have the groups, but let's see. Let's go one by one here. Uh, let me start with uh, Carlos. We have number two, Carlos. It says, vaya recto y cruce a la izquierda en el primer pasillo. Luego cruce a la derecha, está del lado izquierdo. Okay. Uh, go, side, go side and turn left in the first hole. And then turn right is, is on left. Okay, let's do something. Let me see. Uh, no, here it is. Ok, Carlos, voy a cederte el control para que puedas escribir. Me escribes eso que... Ok. Que And, uh, Now, you have the control. Ok. Este me no parece... Ahora sí. Go straight. Control. Left and the first first hall then to right east uh, left se cortó uh, Es que puedes usar el, el directamente en el PowerPoint. Okay. Es que se corta mientras estoy escribiendo. Es que estás usando el, el texto del Zoom, ¿verdad? Sí. Puedes escribir directamente en, el, en, en la presentación. ¿Me explico? No con el Zoom. Ahora, ok, ahora sí. Solo que voy a tener eso. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. First. First. Sí. Then turn. Right. Is on left. This is the
to kill the girl. <laughs> okay. Only two. Okay, vamos a ver. Go straight and turn left in the first hole. Then turn right is on the left. Muy bien. Solo le agregaría aquí un it is. It is on the left. It is on the left. Perfect. Very good. Go straight and turn left. Uh, in the first hole, then turn right. It is on the left. Mm -hmm. Y uh, opcional, ¿verdad? Aunque se entiende, pudiéramos decir on the left side. So it's op opcional. Okay, very good, very good. Um, okay, number three. Any volunteer for number three? Me, teacher. Okay. Go up. Are you on a computer? Yes. Okay, so I'll give you the control. This is Carolina, right? Yes. Okay, Carolina, now you have the control. You can write here on the presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. finish okay thank you go up to the second floor and turn right ah uh -huh. third door on left aquí solo invertiríamos esto on the left side vamos a pasar esto para acá on eh, on the left side is the clinic. Okay. Una. Eh. Y puede quedar solo on the left también. Podemos dejar el side como optional. Very good. Go up to the second floor and turn right. Third door on the left is the clinic. Third door on the left side is the clinic. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can add here the, the third door on the left side is the clinic. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Number four. Baje las escaleras al sótano. Está al frente, a la par del comedor. Es una puerta roja. Volunteer. Preferable on a computer to give you the control. Joanna. Okay, Joanna, I will give you the control. Let me see, Joanna. Great. You have the control now, Joanna.
Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, what about the first eights? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, uh, we have a problem with across the street because there is no street. Si estamos en el basement, en el sótano, no hay calle. ¿Cómo podemos decir ese está al frente? Porque ese it's across the street está al otro lado de la calle. Okay. In front of us. In front of Vaya, pero in front of me tienen que decir... Enfrente de qué? Y esa información. Facing the dining in room. Front, in Only... front next to the, to the dining room. Porque la, no, la, la frase no es está al frente de. Sino simplemente está al frente. Only is in front. It's only in front. Teacher. It is for until, until in front. Mm. Mm, no. Just in front. Uh, yeah. Cambian alguna la la un poquito. It's on the front. Front. Para decir está al frente. Mm -hmm. It is in front and next to the dining room. Yeah, pero cuando hablamos de la ubicación it's usually it's better to say on the front. Está al frente. On the front. Or at the front. Incluso. Vamos a ver. And it's on the front. Next to the dining room, it's a red door. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, see. The thing is, well, a dining room is more for the house, but. Usually dining room is more for a house. Yeah, what is another word uh, we can use to talk about? Cafeteria. Yeah, uh -huh. we could use cafeteria. Next to the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Or lounge. Well, lounge is, is more on un, un area de descanso. Uh, yeah, como una sala más, más para relax. Uh, puede ser, tal vez en este caso, dining area. ¿Verdad? Dining area. Uh, especialmente si estamos hablando de un lugar grande, ¿no? En un, una fábrica, en un hospital, en una escuela, ¿verdad? Más, más, que el, más que el room. ¿Verdad? Okay. okay, very good. Now, don't be sad, Johanna, don't be sad. We are learning. Okay, number five, volunteer, salga al parqueo, cruce a la derecha y camine recto hasta la segunda puerta, entre y espere en la cafetería. Uh, 
A ver, ¿quiénes me levantaron la mano? Oh. Uh, Silvio. Go ahead, Silvio. Let me... Uh, uh, ¿qué hice? ¿Qué hice? Sorry. Are you on a computer, Silvio? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me give you the control. Here you are. Okay, Silvio, now you can write. No. Okay. Let's see. Go out at parking. Turn right and walk straight at the second door. Enter and wait in the cafeteria. Okay, very good. Yes, I would make a couple of things a little different, but because when you say al, it's, it's better to say to the, go out to the parking, turn right and walk straight uh, at the second door or aquí until the second door. Enter and wait in the cafeteria. Okay, but very good, very good. Second, enter and wait in the cafeteria. Okay, people, any question with this? Sure. Uh -huh. um, yo al inicio eh, lo tenía como eh, is correct exit to the parking lot. Ex yeah. Exit. No. Que cuando estamos dando instructions, instructions or directions, it's more common go out. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Usually, exit is more used more commonly as a, como sustantivo, como un nombre, no salida. Okay. No, no more questions? Perfect, very good. Good job, people. So we learn to give instructions at the workplace. Now we're going to take a look to the review exercises quickly, to the review exercises for unit two. We have an article here about giving instructions to staff. This article is about giving instructions to staff. And at the end of this article, there are five statements. Then you must check true or false according to the article, okay? It's not your opinion, it's not your idea, it's according to the article. All right, so I will read this first. Then I'm going to send you to your to working groups 
to respond the questions. No, no questions. To check true or false. Okay. Okay, listen, I'm going to read this first. Let me get the pointer. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switched on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions, that would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they'd switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure, you do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to, uh, to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Number three, give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. And number four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help from a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Okay, so these are uh, some uh, instructions or tips about giving instructions to staff. I will give you time to read in your groups again if you want uh, and then you must check true or false to the five statements at the end. Okay? Very good. So let me send okay. you to working groups. Nineteen. Let's make five groups. Okay. See you in around ten minutes.
Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. We are working in groups. Okay, so I'm going to send you to one group, okay? Okay. Uh, this group. Whenever possible, make sure you give example. This will be especially beneficial if they are, are new to the road or if they haven't carried, carried out the taste before. This will help to add clarity to your instruction and help for a clear picture of what is is your mean and want. Okay, now, um, number one, according to the article, it is, it is fine to make assumptions. It's false. It's false, yes. False. Yes, because in the number one, say, 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 don't be the fool that is assumes people. Yes, and the yeah. title, the, the title también dice, don't assume, don't assume. Yeah. what you mean. Okay. The second. It is important to go straight to the point to be clear. For me, it's true. Clear and specific. For me, no me acuerdo cómo se dice también. Me too. Me too. Uh, number three, people will get confused with the directions if we use too many words. 
I lost más explicar los detalles. Yes. The people will get to confuse them with the election used to main words and then to the by which are the worst thing when should be very crazy type friends. That's fine, we believe in this. Okay. Finish, you sure. Okay, I would like you to find new vocabulary and uh, the definitions. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, when, when you finish with the sentences, please, uh, I want you to look for new vocabulary and okay. the meanings, okay? Okay, teacher. Hello, Ana Delmi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. We are working in groups right now. Okay. So I'm going to send you to one group, okay? Okay. Did you finish, people? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, nos, nos dividimos uno cada uno. Okay. Okay, when you finish, I also want you to look for new vocabulary and the meanings, okay? Hello, Linda. Hello, teacher. Marisol, what happened? Sorry, teacher, me desconecté. Oh, okay. Let me see. I'm going to send. Number one is Mr. Group, group one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to send Linda to that group as well. Okay. 
acá el técnico. Uy, ya nos va a tocar. Uy, eh, lo guarde, ser, nos, va, ser, nos va a sacar y no ser, ser, No, sharing goals en <risa> optional for the PMP. What does mean P Es is the prevent maintenance plant. Oh. Sharing school is an optional for the no. No, it's, it's false. It's uh, step two. People, uh, no? one thing, when, when you finish with the sentences, I want you to look for new vocabulary in the article, okay? Teacher, la tarea es poner como si son estas afirmaciones son verdades o falsas. Eso sería. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And when, and when you finish that, please look for new vocabulary and the meaning. Okay. Oh, perfect. See you. See you. Set goals is the step two. Uh, and then. Did you finish, people? No, teacher. Okay, no problem. Falta la cinco que no le hallamos. Ya le van a hallar, ya le van a hallar. Okay, when you finish, I want you uh, to look, you look for new vocabulary. Okay. Uh, and the meanings. Okay. The vocabulary, the vocabulary. Yeah, in the article. Ah, okay. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay.
Okay, welcome back. I'm going to take the second attendance. Please turn on your cameras and respond. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Delmi Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Good. Claudia Yvette Samayoa. Present teacher. Good. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Okay. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Good. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Good. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present. Present. Okay. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present. Good. Olga Marleni Gomez. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Enrique Cortes. Present. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Good. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's check your work with the statements for the article uh, about giving instructions to your staff. Let me share the screen. Uh, comment, go here. Okay. Okay, the first statement says, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. Is that true or false? People. False. 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 Yeah, it is false. Correct. Number two, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. It's true. 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 true, correct. Number three, people will get confused when the directions, with the directions if we use too many words. True, 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 true. true. okay. To avoid misunderstandings, one should be very clear in time frames. True. 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 True, correct. And number five, it is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. False. True. 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 False. Ah. It is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. False. False. Yes, it is false. false. It is false. Porque no está bien. Okay. You have to give examples whenever possible. Okay, so I ask you for new vocabulary. 
Uh, let's see, in part one, is there any new vocabulary in part one? Craftsman. Sometimes. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿cuál dijeron de nuevo? Assumption. 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 Oh, okay. Assumption. And what is assumption? Assumption. Assumption. Uh -huh. Suposición, ¿verdad? Asumir algo, ¿no? Suponer algo. Ok, assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Ok, any other in number one? Uh, acronyms. 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 No, no, no. Acronyms. Ok. Acronyms. Acronyms. What is acronyms? Acronyms. Acronyms, correcto. Can you give me an example of an acronym? No, no idea. Opuesto. Uh, Opuesto. Industry acronyms. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean, and this can be for anything from industry acronyms. Acronyms uh, son uh, palabras que, por ejemplo, eh, eh, sepa. Comisión Ejecutiva Portuaria Autónoma. Sí, esos, esos, siglas. esos, esos son, son como siglas. Abreviación. Exacto, ¿verdad? Siglas. No, son como, son siglas, ¿verdad? Pero que sobre todo, que forman, como, que forman una palabra, de hecho, ¿no? Pero esa palabra tiene un, un sentido, sí, ¿no? Eso es un significado, cada letra significa Por sigla. Okay. Yeah. Sí, lo que nosotros conocemos como, como siglas también. Ok, de eso es un acronym. Sí, siglas en inglés, teacher. En In inglés, siglas. Sí, yeah. es that acronym or initial. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, no, acronym no. or initials. También. Okay. Ok. ¿Algo, ¿Alguna más en este primer párrafo? Teacher. Hola. Wish, wish in the second line. Oh. Ok. Wise. Uh, sí, aquí creo que le falta una letra porque es esta misma. Wild. Uh, this. Uh -huh. Wild. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Es similar o hay error? No, hay error. No, hay error. Whilst. Okay. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Whilst. Whilst, ah, con L. Uh -huh. well, whilst. ¿Alguien la buscó? ¿La encontró? ¿Qué es whilst? Mientras que. Mientras. Ok. Uh -huh. Mientras, mientras que. Correct. Uh, and alguna más ahí? Day. Day. Pero está utilizando la, la D. Después, más abajito de Wiles. No, pero es en el segundo párrafo. Ah, en el segundo. Bueno, en el primero ya uh, okay. terminamos. Va. Let's go to the second. Second paragraph. Ok. Oops. Be clear and specific. No, esta no. Ok. Eh, Dade, ¿dónde estaba? Dade, ahí, ahí está. Ahí lo pasó. Ah, ya la, la, la estrellita. 
They. ¿Alguien sabe qué es ese they? It's a contraction. They would. They would, correcto. They would. The contraction is they. Muy bien. ¿Alguna más? What is the contraction would? Will. Would. Ok. Would. No, es pero, un... perdón, en, en, en we, como que digamos, we, we will. Nosotros. Ah, bueno, todas estas contracciones serían... I would, I'd. You would, you'd. He would, he'd. She would, she'd. We would, we'd. They would, they'd. And it, it. Yeah. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. Is it wrapping, teacher? Wrap, dropping. Thank oh. you, teacher. Dripping. Dripping. Esta. Dripping. <coughs> okay. A mí no me crees. <laughs> What is dripping? Goteando. Goteando, no así como chorreando. Lo que está hablando en este caso de waffles. Goteando miel de maple. Ajá. Okay. Y por allá se me hace bastante similar. Quiero que hablas. Ramble. 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 ¿Dónde está? In third line. Estamos en el segundo, en la tercera línea. Yes. Ah, want yes. to ramble. Divagar. Ok. Muy bien. Rumble, as you don't want to rumble on. Muy bien. Algo más. Teacher. Hola. Rather. Rather. This rather. One. rather. Would rather and would rather get straight. Este rather es, uh, bueno, a ver si alguien lo, lo buscó, lo halló, lo investigó. Yo lo yo investigué eh, como en la parte de la oración que dice que es como ir al punto. Ser específico, ir directo al grano, así lo entendí yo. Ok, dice, personally I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to be... Directo. Uh, directo, directo al punto. Sí, sí. Ah, sí es. Like so este... Este would rather es like preferir. Yes, es para establecer yo preferiría. En preferiría, ¿verdad? Preferiría. Estamos hablando de I. I would rather. No, es otra forma de decir I prefer. Uh -huh. You prefer. Es otra forma de decirlo, ¿no? Prefiero. Incluso usted quiere decir I would rather Uh, watch a movie preferiría ver una película I would rather an action movie Yo preferiría una película de acción entonces so ese es would rather es otra forma de decir prefer algo más Teacher, en esa misma eh, frase abajo cambia Podría explicar el rather. Sí, el rather. rather. Sí. Yeah. 
run is to be action or deliver rather than ah, than making the instructions too flowery. Acá no significa el como en lugar de en vez de. Yeah. Okay, this is, and we'd rather get straight to the point what needs to be action or delivered rather than making the instructions too flowery. And best day and lugar de, it's a rather ahí. En lugar de hacer. Mm -hmm. And rather than. Ya cuando ven en esta combinación, rather than, es en vez de, en lugar de. Uh -huh. Entonces hay que ver con qué frase está compuesta para saber identificar a qué se refiere. Ya. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Okay, let's continue with next number three. Give time frames. Number three, any new vocabulary? They they did deadline. 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 ¿Qué es deadline? Lazos. Plazo. Muy bien. The deadline es el plazo, el límite, ¿verdad? Para hacer algo, para cumplir algo, ¿no? The deadline for the, for the midterm exam. For example, it was yesterday at midnight. Yeah, the deadline for the for the final exam is the 27th so, of fecha October. Limite. La fecha límite, el plazo. Mm -hmm. Deadline. Any anything else? And finally, number four. Any new vocabulary here? Whenever, teacher. Whenever. Siempre. Ajá. Podemos traducirlo siempre. ¿Qué otra forma? Cuando sea. Cuando sea. Mamá, mira, va a ser un mes. Hoy. Other word is that. Whenever possible, cuando sea posible, ¿qué? A otra task. Esta. Task. Just yes. for me, it's new task. Yeah. Tarea. Ajá, otra forma de decir tarea, pero tarea no, eh, no tanto como el homework, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sino eh, como si, lo, las responsabilidades que se le delegan en algún, en algún trabajo. Llevar a cabo una tarea. Ya. Yeah. Task. Okay, okay, okay. Aquí hay una expresión bien coloquial. Butter up. ¿No? Personally, dice, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to be to the point. Ya yeah, este B está de más aquí. 
Este butter up es, es como darle vuelta al asunto, ¿no? Eh, butter es, es, ¿saben qué es butter? Mantequilla. Mantequilla, ¿no? Man, no, butter. Butter es mantequilla. Entonces, mantequilla. cuando dice, está dándonos la idea de no, no embarrar algo, ¿no? No, no untarlo. No untarlo, no darle vuelta, no... Uh -huh. Eh, eh, sino ir directo, ¿no? Por eso dice, personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to the point. Preferiría no darle tanta vuelta, no untarlo tanto e ir directo. Preferiría ir directo al punto. Esta expresión es interesante. Ok, no more, new vocabulary. Espero que hayan tomado nota, ¿verdad? Y, y vayan agregando a su, a su personal dictionary. This new vocabulary. Perfect. Misunderstanding for me is new. Oh, misunderstanding. Yeah. What is a misunderstanding? Malos entendidos. Malos entendidos, ¿verdad? Un malentendido. Perfect. So, new vocabulary in this reading. Okay, then let's quickly complete these exercises. This is with there is and there are. This is easy. Let's do it together here. Number one. And the, remember some, these are questions, okay? Pay attention to that. Yes. So, number one, yeah. any paper in the printer? How do we complete this? Seria is, is there. Ah. Is there any paper in the printer? Correct. Okay. Number two. Seria, I am there. I'm there. Are there? Okay. Let me write it here. Are there? Good. Number three. Is there? Are. Mm. Is there or are there? Are there? Is there? Is there? Is there enough personal at your company? Number four. Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Correct. Number five. Is there? Is there? Yes. Hey, you're good. Number six. Is there? Is there? Is there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Is plural? Yes. It's plural. And number seven. Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? <laughs> <laughs> bueno, sí, así lo decimos, oh, pero es una D diferente, es una D. Are there? there. Are there different? Yeah. Okay, let's practice, people, the pronunciation. Okay, repeat, please. Is there any paper in the printer? Is there any paper in the printer? Are there any computers available? Are there any computers available? Is there enough personnel at your company? Is there enough personnel at your company? Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? 
Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Is there much light in your workplace? Is there much light in your workplace? Are there many things to do every day? Are there many, many things every day? every day? Are there good places to have a break? Are there good places to have a break? A break? Okay, very good. Any question? No, no. Teacher. let's continue. Finish this and this exercise is unscramble the words to create sentences. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to work individually. Y luego lo vamos a revisar. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, please write sentence number one in the chat. Number one only. Everybody write sentence number one in the chat. You are not allowed to wear informal. Right in the chat. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let me open it up. Linda, um, okay, Carlos Alberto, yes, Joanna, no, Irma, uh, Irma, yes, solo que me puso West, and the orden al final, no, and Zenaida, no, Silvio, yes, Silvia, me falta una palabra, Silvia. Carla Verónica, yes. Olga, yes. Ok, Silvia. Uh, Carolina, yes. Claudia, yes. Ana Marisol, yes. Jessica, yes. Alejandra, Yes. Okay, very good. Now, number two. Write number two, please. Let's see. Oh. Okay, let me see. And then Piesa, Miguel Angel. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Okay, Linda. Yes. Carla Verónica, yes. Alejandra Vanessa, no. Carolina, yes. Silvia Suleima, yes. Silvio, yes. Claudia Guadalupe, yes. Senaida, no. Irma, no. Ana Marisol, yes. Olga, yes. Uh, Jessica, okay. Okay, good. Number three. Sí, en el number three. Quiero ver si es al, hay que agregarle algo. Hay que agregarle el tú. Número 3 hay que agregarle el tú. Vamos a ver. Mm, sí, no. Carolina hay que agregarle el tú. Y el in no va ahí. Carlos Alberto, no. Linda, sí. Carla Verónica, yes. Hilda, uh, está en las dos, ok. Le falta el tú, Hilda. Zenaida, número tres, no. Miguel, no. Silvia Suleima, no. 
Claudia Guadalupe. Yes. Irma de Los Ángeles. Ok. A lo que el corrector le puso Boeing. Irma. <ríe> Un errorcito ahí de dedo. Ana Marisol. It is not allowed. Yes. Olga. No. Jessica. Uh, yes. Ok, Claudia Samayoa, muy bien. Silvia Enrique, yes. No more. Karina Melisa, ok. Okay, number four. Number four. A ver, vámonos acá. Carolina. Uh, le falta el two, Carolina. Okay. Linda. Yes, Bien, Carlos gracias. Alberto. Yes. Uh, Carla Verónica. Yes. Claudia Guadalupe. Ok. Alejandra Vanessa. Mm. Uh, el tú está mal colocado, Alejandra. Miguel Ángel. Uh, no, Miguel Ángel. Claudia Samayoa. Le falta el tú. Olga. Correcto. Irma. Uh, le faltó la palabra time, pero el orden está bien. Silvia Suleima, muy bien. Zenaida. Le faltó el time. Silvia Enríquez, correcto. Ana Marisol, correcto. Claudia Samayoa, correcto. Karina Melisa, correcto. <ríe> sí. Jessica, Ajá, Carolina, ahora sí, Alejandra Vanessa, muy bien, Hilda Xiomara, muy bien, very good, very good, and finally number five. A ver, a ver, ¿dónde empiezan? Ok, Carlos Alberto, yes, Carolina, yes, Linda Stephanie, ajá, Claudia Guadalupe, correct, Olga, ok, Carla, ok, uh, Irma, no. Hay que buscarle otro orden. Miguel, el tú no va ahí. El tú va con el verbo. Ana Delmi. Mmm, hasta loud está bien. De ahí para, para atrás, para abajo se me desordenó. Ana Marisol, muy bien. Nelson Iván, muy bien. Silvia Enrique, ok. Irma, muy bien. Ahora sí. Uh, Silvia, el tú no va ahí, el tú va con el verbo. 
Ok, Alejandra, muy bien. Claudia Samayoa, muy bien. Zenaida. Ok, Karina Melisa, ok. Uh, Gilda Xiomara, ok. Very good. Perfect. Okay, let's practice the pronunciation. A ver si me acuerdo cómo va. Repeat, please. Uh, you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. You are not, not allowed, allowed to wear, to wear, to wear formal, formal clothes. Espero que estén leyendo de sus notas, ¿verdad? Porque aquí no las hemos puesto. Yes. Ok, observen, ¿verdad? Un errorcito que estuvieron cometiendo algunos es que el verbo va en forma infinitiva, ¿verdad? Allow to, allow to. Por eso va el to wear, to, to smoke, to bring, etc. Ok, number two. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Number three, it is not allowed to bring in children. It is not allowed to bring in children. Uh, we are not allowed to extend our lunch time. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. Uh, people are not allowed to check in late. People are not allowed to check in late. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, what time is it? Um, we only have 15 minutes. Okay, but we can practice the conversation for the next lesson. Let's see. Yeah, let me raise this here and let's go here too. Okay, next lesson is about describing issues about machinery. How to describe issues about machines or machinery. Let's take a look to this conversation between Ramon and Dorian. A ver, vamos a tener que reducir un poquito para que se vea todo. Okay. Okay, listen. I'm going to read it and record it. A moment. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay. Okay, so there is a mistake here. In very, this must be, I need to take the metal case enough to verify. Okay, let's see, verify. Okay. 
Okay. Demasiado. Hmm? No. Demasiado. Verify. ¿A qué le suena verify? Muy bien. No. Very similar in Spanish. Revisar. Verificar. 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 Uh -huh. Verificar. Ok, I'll read again. Listen. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will, we will have to extend the shot. Okay, let's practice now. Repeat after me, please. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Thank you for, Thank you for, coming, for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. No problem. No problem. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. Mm -hmm. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. You are, you are right. You, are right. Right. you know, no, it does not no, work properly. It does not and work properly. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. This is a complex, a complex machine. machine, so maybe we need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. Yes, yes, yes. complex yes. machines yes. have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing okay. off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I need to take the metal casing off is a minor fault or what. I understand. I understand. You understand. I understand. Is that in the case? We need to speed things up. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. Not down. Not down. Not down. And what happens if they are? And what, what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. We will have to extend the Okay. Um, any question with the conversation? Mm. Mm. Yes. Once a fortnight. Ah. Once a fortnight. Once a fortnight. Interesting word. Once. What is once? You must know Una. this. Una. Una. Mm, me falta algo. Si yo Una le digo, vez. Ah. Okay, Cada 15 yes. días. 
Una cada vez. Una vez a la quincena. A la quincena sí. o cada quince días, correcto. Es una palabra rara para quincena. Miren, Fortnite. ¿Verdad? Pero eso es exactamente. Fortnite. Quincenal. Ya, once a fortnight. Una vez a la quincena, una vez cada quince días. ¿Verdad? So, tomorrow is your fortnight. You are going to receive money. Well, some of you maybe. Or not. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? Be happy. In my case, not teacher. No. Not me neither. You. Me neither. <laughs> I get paid once a month in my interpreter job Me and too. when we finish the module in, a, in my teacher job. So, <laughs> okay. I don't see money every fortnight. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. Uh, we have a couple of minutes. Let's practice. I am Ramon and you are Dorian, okay? Let's practice. You are Dorian, so I begin. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Yes. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex yeah. machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, yes. some complex machine. I need to what? I understand. And what happens if they are? We will have, we will have, the, have the, shot. The, the shot. The shot. Okay, very good. Uh, what is a fault? Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. It makes a strange noise. Ah, uh, yeah, but the meaning of a fault. Ya lo dijeron por ahí. Una falla. Muy bien. Una falla. Sí, dice que va a verificar if it is a minor fault or what. Okay, now you are Ramon and I am Dorian, okay? You begin. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. We will have to extend the shot. Okay. So all of these uh, phrases are expressions to declare or to talk about problems or 
issues or problems in the machine. Okay. I have a look at it. So I'm going to check it out. I'm going to uh, look, take a look at it. I'll have a look at it. It makes I'll a strange a noise. It. it makes a strange noise. It makes a strange mm -hmm. noise. Un ruido extraño. I need to take the metal casing off. I need to. I need to do I need something. To. I need to. A uh, minor, a minor fault. A minor fault. Una falla menor. menor. Mm -hmm. Speed things up. Speed things up. No, oh, es, es acelerar Speed. las cosas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Apresurar. Mm -hmm. Speed up apresurar las cosas. Esta que ya la vimos, once a fortnight, una vez cada 15 días, una vez a la quincena, y extend the shot. Extend the shot. Alargar el cierre. Alargar el cierre, extender el cierre, ¿verdad? Okay, people, we're going to stop here, we're going to continue tomorrow with this conversation and the usage of these expressions, these phrases. Okay. So let me take the last attendance, please. Cameras on for the last attendance tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, please say present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, Alejandra, thank you for attending. Good night. Ana Delmi Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Delmi. Good night. Good night. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay, good night. Good night. Angel didn't show up today. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Claudia teacher. Guadalupe Arias. Present. Okay, Claudia, good night. Claudia good night. Yvette Samayoa. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, Hilda. Well, good night. Good night, teacher. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Irma. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Okay. Good night, Jessica. Good night, teacher. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, don't go. Please don't go. Okay, teacher. We need the person, we have the personal session. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Okay, Karina, good night. Good night. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Good night, Linda. Good night. Oh, I have some kitties here. Mayra Roxana didn't show up. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present. Good night, Miguel Angel. Good Thank night. you for attending. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Nelson. Okay, I see you. I don't hear you. Uh, good night. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, Olga. Have a good night. Night, chair. Uh, Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Have okay, a nice night. Okay, you too. Uh, Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Silvia. Have a good night. Good night. Uh, Silvia Enrique Cortez. 
present teacher. Good okay, night. Okay, Silvio, good night. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Okay, good night, Carlos. Good night, teacher. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, Carla. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Okay, people, see you tomorrow. I'm stay with Johanna. Okay, Johanna, I have que quisiera que reforcemos. Mm, sí, aquí lo tengo. ¿Sabes que es la primera vez que me dan esto en todos los meses? ¿En serio? No he recibido nunca esto, así que no sé qué se hace. Ah, bueno, si quieres que reforcemos algún tema, algo que de lo que hemos visto o algo otra cosa, aparte de lo que hemos visto que tú quisieras reforzar. No, o sea, no le entendí esto. Ah, ok. Eso realmente no es tan complejo. No hay, no es de buscarle formas ni estructuras, porque solo son esas eh, expresiones que usamos con qué para hablar de algo, que, lo que, que queremos describir algo, ¿no? Como en estos casos, por ejemplo. Bueno, si yo te quisiera decir. Lo que a mí me gusta es, eh, qué sé yo, la, la música rock. ¿Verdad? Ese, lo que a mí me gusta, es lo que se llaman cláusulas con qué. What clauses. ¿Verdad? Y, ¿Lo qué? ¿Lo qué? Sí. ¿Verdad? Y la, la única como estructura que podemos identificar es que van unidos con el verbo to be ¿verdad? que es el porque siempre digo si yo te digo lo que a mí me gusta es la música rock incluso en español así lo decimos si yo te lo digo en inglés what I like is rock music mm, ¿ya? Verbal, sujeto y el verbo nos toda la frase esa viene a ser como el sujeto ¿verdad? what I like y el verbo is por ejemplo si yo quisiera decir lo que a mí me gusta hacer en mis días libres que es what Ajá. I like what I like to do it in my free day is exacto what I like to do to do uh -huh. On my free days or my days off. My day off is blah, blah, blah. Is the exact. Okay, teacher. ¿Verdad? Ese era. Eso es, eso es ese tipo de frases, ¿verdad? Que como... Esos son solo algunos ejemplos, ¿no? Como te digo, pueden ser un montón de cosas. ¿Verdad? Lo que yo más odio es... Y ¿verdad? lo que tú sería... Igual, ajá. You. What you, uh -huh. lo que tú necesitas, What es. You need is. Uh -huh. ah, okay. lo que ellos deberían hacer, What we no, ellos. Should. What they uh -huh. What should do, should do. What they is. should do is. Mm. No. Entonces eso es lo que se llama una cláusula con qué. Cláusula. Okay. What clauses? Cláusula con qué. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ese las, será el tema. Las what clauses, ¿verdad? Sí, es que está, la verdad está metido ahí un poco raro. No. Quizás todavía no nos toca. Ah, pero bueno. Ya. Pero ahí está. Ya. Okay. Ya Let lo aprendimos, share. ok. Um, Ahora solo es. Ya, yeah. 
básicamente, ¿no? Eso es lo que hacemos, ¿no? Y si hay algo que repasar o alguna pregunta. Ya lo de la plataforma ya lo hiciste, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya lo terminé. En, no me acuerdo qué día de esto. Ok. okay y que habías estado como oyente en los módulos anteriores. Desde el primer módulo me había tocado estar como oyente. ¿Por qué? Ah. Al principio me dijeron que los Dean Sefor se equivocaron con mis documentos. Ah, Entonces okay. me tuvieron así durante cuatro módulos. Por eso cuando usted lo conocí le pregunté, mire, ¿soy oyente o estoy en la lista? Ajá. Porque nunca me daban esto. Ah, sí, es que solo hay 20. Como solo son 20 clases y hay 20. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué? ¿Cómo diríamos? De la lista... ¿Verdad? Normal. No, pero inclusive no tienen derecho los oyentes porque el teacher anterior me dijo eso. Que los oyentes no tenían derecho y así que cuando se acababan los del cupo le volví a reforzar a otro. Me volví a repetir. Uh -huh. Bueno, pero ya no, no más. Yo, no más. No más. Sí, teacher. <risa> ok. Ok. Ay, pues, entonces muchas gracias. Ok, Joana. Have okay. a good night. Me gustan gracias, los fondos teacher, que pones. <risa> Para Yo aquí no puedo poner, tengo que pintar esa puerta de verde para poder poner un fondo que no. O, o puede no usted me... poner ahí un, uno en, en, no sé si ya lo ha intentado. Sí, pero es que no me, no, quizá no sé, la resolución de mi cámara también no ayuda mucho porque no me lo acepta. Me queda siempre el manchón café de la puerta al poner. Que intenten poner una, una imagen de fondo. Sí, sí. Ahora, qué raro. Sí, está, bueno. creo que está muy lejos, ¿verdad? No, no sé por qué, pero no me lo, no me la agarro. Extraño. Bueno, Tengo que cambiarle adelante, color. La agarra. <ríe> Tengo que, que cambiarle que... color a la puerta. <ríe> Ay, pues. Ok, Joana. Have a good night. See you Gracias. tomorrow. See you, teacher.